December 5th. James and I are heading up in here on one of the last hunts of the year we got today and tomorrow. I'm trying to get him a buck. I'm standing down here in the Brook Valley, so if it's a little noisy, I'm sorry. We just crossed the brook. I'm not, I'm trying to do this interview down here so it covers our sound. We're kind of in the same area that Aaron got his buck last week and we're kind of working up this hill towards the Oaks. There's some deer sign, we found some back here, they're heading up. We've got a big snowstorm coming in tonight, so if we don't get it today, we'll be tracking tomorrow. So stay by, stand by, quest for 200. six-year-olds yesterday this is easy today yesterday wasn't <laughs> anyways we're bare ground tracking right now we've got a it looks like a pretty good sized deer cutting up this trail I'm probably going to go up on this knob and feed there's a bunch of oak on the other side they may be bedded right here so we got to be careful we're going really easy and really quiet that's why I'm talking so low this is probably the last time I talk on camera until we get beyond that. The brook's still covering our scent and sound, so we'll keep filming. spot that I would say is probably a little bittersweet for James. Last year, was it last year? The year before. Last year. Last year we were pretty much right here. Actually, we were sitting on that stump right, right over here. And we had two decent bucks come below us. We had snow though, so we could see down in. And, uh, let's just put it to you this way. We, we didn't drag one out, but there were two of them. One of them was good, and then the other one was really good. We tracked them up the mountain over here, and then uh, we just lost time, so we had to get out. Um, of course, we couldn't come back the next day, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to work down in this bottom. There's a little stream that runs through there. Deer usually skirt this mountain if they don't come up over, and then they, they'll cross down in here. So we're going to go down here and see if we see any deer. And if we don't, we're going to check for sign. And we're either going to work it back this way and then circle, or we'll go this way and circle back. But the rain has started. I don't know when the snow is supposed to start, if it's supposed to start during the day. on how the right weather gets we'll see how far we get so at this point we're still ready and willing to shoot something so we had deer back here swinging this way not sure if they're bucks or does but let's see what happens right right James is ready look what he's using today he's got the Marlin Three, three, six. 30, 30. Let's see if we can make this five. <laughs> right. All right. 
right, let me explain this really quick. We just tracked a buck trailing three does right up through here. There's a skipper and two bigger deer right across. You can see there's a road right behind me here. We came all the way from the truck. Now we're up on this other road. They're cutting through here. He's straight legged. He's moving pretty good. So we're not going to, we're going to move right along for, you know, a little bit. We're going to give it till noon because by the time noon hits, we won't be able to see the track unless we run in the fresh ones. Because as you can see, it's snowing and it's raining and snowing together. So I'm putting the camera in my pocket. I'll get it out as fast as I possibly can in case something happens, but no promises. Here we go. Well, since my last uh, little insert here into the video world, as you remember, we had bare ground at that point and we were following a bare ground track. The deer was ahead of us by 20, 30 minutes. Well, as you can see behind me, we've now lost that track. That deer is somewhere up above us on the mountain, probably bedded down or over on the other side. We're pretty far out, so we're going to start heading back down the mountain. If we catch one, we might catch a deer moving up. Um, but we want to get back to the truck before dark, as you can see. Snow is slippery. As you can see, we're up pretty high, and it's coming down pretty good. So, tomorrow should be a pretty eventful day. So stay tuned for day two, which is going to be up in about 30 seconds. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the last day of the New Hampshire gun season, December 6th. It's almost one year to the date that I shot the Pearl Harbor buck. And as you can see overnight, we got blessed with tracking snow. And it is the perfect tracking snow. It's about four and a half, five inches of perfect track making material. So with me today, James Smith, once again, there he is. And out of total pure coincidence, my brother-in-law is right there, Mr. Ed Monahan. So have a big round of applause for Ed. <laughs> so what we're planning on doing today is we have a, this piece of property through here split by a, by a town road. He's gonna go. Ed's gonna go up on the high side. He's rocking a 30 6 bolt action with a scope. There's a lot of open country up in there, and there's a lot of oak. So he's going to go in that section. James and I are going to go up the road and cut out towards this other oak ridge that is much thicker and harder to get a long shot in. James is rocking the, uh, the Model 336 and 3030. Basically what we're all trying to do is cut a track and follow it and shoot a deer. As we all know, it's kind of my forte. So, let's see if we can make it happen here on the final day. <laughs> that said, we're all going to gather up and head in. We'll get with you later on. now but we're gonna get back on it he's straight legging right now running the edge of this ridge 
the wind's coming from below us, and he's just winding, trying to see if there's any does below him. Up ahead, we got a long point that sticks out. He may go and bet on the end of it. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. If so, we're going to cut up over the top and run the ridge and see if we can catch him betting. All right, here we go. You can see that we're we're basically in a snow fortress here. It's all this little beach growth, and it's covered with wet, frozen snow, basically making little tunnels. He's been meandering back and forth. We knew he was going to bed, but we just came on his bed here. You can see right here, and it, it's not frozen. He's just ahead of us. He just got up. He's not running out of the bed. Not that I can see, anyway. We might have put him up, but he didn't see us. There's no way he can see us in here. And we got the wind, so he heard us, and that was it. So he may be waiting out here. If it gets open, he may be standing there waiting to see what we are. So we're going to go really easy. He really didn't want to bed in here. He was not happy with this where he couldn't see but it's a pretty decent sized deer 130 140 pounds I think so we're going to keep going All right, guys. I'm getting the snow out the camera here. All right. We've been on this boy since what, about seven? Six thirty? Yeah, about seven, seven thirty. Yeah, seven, seven thirty. It's uh, ten o'clock now. We've followed him all through the bottom bowl, and he's finally crossed the class six road again, and he's heading back up, kind of where he came from. He just went up a wicked steep cliff. We just went around it. And we're gonna go up the logging road and cut his track again. The spot we're in is a cut that we cut, that was cut. Uh, I think we cut this eight years ago, seven years ago. There's a lot of blackberry bushes and whips in it, but not tall. And I think he's gonna swing to the south side in bed. So we're gonna get up here, get on his track and keep going. This is big woods. This is, there's nothing up here. We are far away from everything. And he's taken us through hell. I mean, just beach whip hell. 
It's all covered. You can see all this stuff is covered with snow. As you can see from the pictures. And it was really hard to get through quiet. We came up on him on that bed and he, he was gone. He never saw us. He couldn't see us. It was just too thick. And then he ran the side of the hill all the way to here. And then he started walking, jumped the road, walked across the lower part of this, and ran up that hill. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be tired and he's going to go lay back down. That's what we're praying on. So James is ready. The 3030 is ready. And we're going to go. see this is a big mistake for any deer in here it's wide open we can see a long way so we're going to continue on we're just below the big mountain down this hollow between the two mountains <coughs> so we're going to continue on for a ways and see what we come up with just ahead of us. We just had him blow. We just put him up out of a bed again. He's heading back directly the way he came. He's about 70 yards out. back up in the cut now. He cut our tracks of us coming in and he he did cross them finally. He hit the tracks twice when cross them. He's finally crossed them. He's heading up. So we're going to get back on him. We 
stopped here for a minute. The wind's in our bag now. It had been in our face all day. So, we are given him a minute to start walking again. He, he kind of started walking back here, but... Come with the trash. Over here. He's heading up this way. He's heading out. Looks like he's going on an angle that way. So, we're gonna... We're taking a minute just to let him start walking. Because we don't have any chance in hell catching him if he's running. So you always want to stop and let him calm down a little bit. This deer is tired. Really tired. He's He's gone quite a ways. But he never runs very far. And then he stops and he starts walking again. And eventually he'll eat and then he beds down. So it's definitely a deer that's done with a rut. Although he was checking doe beds earlier. He's kind of pooped out and wants to lay down. So Twice now I've and considered letting this one go, but James wants this one in the worst way because it's made him go through some of the worst crap he's ever gone through in his life. It just picks the thickest whips and stuff to go in to try to try to bust. Even with the wind cover, it's really loud going through the stuff because it's all ice on the trees. He's never been much farther than 100 yards from us all day, so... Basically, we're just circling back to where we started right now. He hasn't gone too far. I don't think he's an old buck. He's not real monstrous size, but he's acting like a really smart one. So He's given us an education today. Well, he did exactly what we thought he was going to do. He just came down, went right back across the road into this. A wall of white. We can't get him in there. We tried all morning. And you just we, we were like 30 yards from him twice. And we just couldn't get a shot at him. So we're not even going to bother. It's just, he's going to head right back down in that thick stuff. One thing he did do is he put up a bull moose coming down the hill. I thought that I was wondering what the hell that track was, but... He put a bull moose up across, went down right along with him, so. Well, he's earned his keep, that boy. Well, that pretty much concludes our 2020 season, pretty unless much. we're gonna bow hunt, but. I might bow hunt a little bit. Yeah, but as far as gun up. season, we're done. And uh, sometimes you just don't get them. You'll see a lot of these videos where guys are tracking these bucks and they whack a big buck, yeah. But we wanted to show you on this one that you don't always win the game, no matter how hard you try. And we were on this guy all day long in some pretty severe conditions as far as I'm concerned for tracking. You can't look at us. Down the road, you can't see down the road. You can't see 30 yards through here. I mean, there were a few places. Look, when we got down in that hemlock area, it was really open. So we could have got him there, but he was ahead of us too far in that stuff, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. So this buck here, we don't know what he was. We've James saw him twice. It was definitely a buck. You could tell by the tracks and what he was doing. So <sighs> that's it. Quest for 200. We're done for 2020. Unless we bow hunt, which we might go out once for a bow hunt. But as far as gun season goes, we're done. We're done. We're done. So, 
Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.